This is how it looks. The new Mini. At the Oxford plant, BMW unveiled the latest generation of the iconic car. Since 2001, Mini has been part of the BMW group. The Mini identity is still unmistakable, even though it's been completely redesigned. Over the last two years, there's been a terrific amount of activity both on site here in Oxford and in Swindon to get ready for today. £750 million pounds worth of investment has been spent on new buildings, as in the one we're standing in at the moment, in new plant and machinery, and of course in the people and the skills that we need looking forward uh, to build this new car. These investments are part of Mini's international growth strategy, but the car remains British through and through. The Oxford final assembly plant will build up to 900 cars every day. Some two and a half million vehicles have come off this assembly line since the new Mini started production in 2001. In 1959, the original Mini caused an automotive revolution. The car's compact design was one of the most influential ever, and the car quickly became a style icon. BMW's Harald Kruger says the firm plans to invest 750 million pounds in the entire mini production triangle by 2015, some 500 million pounds in Oxford, and the rest divided between Swindon and Ham's Hall engine plant. The money will go to new technology such as body construction, where a thousand new robots are being installed. He says every area of the factory, such as the paint shop, will be state-of-the-art in terms of production technology, as well as sustainability and environmental protection. Under the hood is a completely new generation of engines from BMW. For the first time, the entry-level gasoline and diesel engines are three-cylinder models. Sporting twin power turbo technology, they offer improved performance with greatly reduced fuel consumption. But a four-cylinder hasn't disappeared completely from the engine range. The Cooper S we tested comes with a muscular four-cylinder gasoline engine that puts out 141 kilowatts. It sprints to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.8 seconds and has a top speed of 235 while keeping fuel consumption to 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers. I think the exciting thing about uh, today is uh, that we are here in Oxford in the heart of Mini, but uh, that the car really goes out to the whole world. And we are going to sell it in over 107 countries worldwide. So it's not only a success here in the UK, Mini became really an extremely strong brand around the world. The new Mini Cooper S has an unmistakably sporty look, starting with its honeycomb grille, which now bears a Chrome S logo. Its centrally mounted tailpipe adds to this pocket rocket's pep. The Mini Cooper's hood scoop and racing stripes give it a lithe athletic profile. The bold contrast between the body, passenger compartment, and roof reflect the brand's iconic design language. Its classic round headlamps are available as LEDs for the first time, a distinctive mini tradition combined with high tech. I think important for me is always, you know, that uh, with mini, we have basically the combination of tradition and innovation. And if you look a little bit back when we had the rebirth of the mini brand in 2001, since then, we sold over 2.5 million minis around the world. So I'm pretty convinced that the product standing behind me, we are going to continue the success story of Mini. The high-tech new Mini features plenty of digital networking. A controller wheel with handwriting recognition makes operating the instrument cluster easier. It has plenty of options that are usually found only on luxury cars. A head-up display, pedestrian warning with initial brake function, adaptive cruise control, traffic sign recognition, a rear view camera, and much more. The colorful arc surrounding the TFT display emphasizes the youthful design. The latest Mini also outdoes its predecessor when it comes to luggage space. With 51 liters more room, it now offers 211 liters of capacity. The Mini Cooper S will hit German car showrooms next spring with a starting price of 23,800 euros.